the aim is not sufficient. You have to convert step number one, step number two, what I want to achieve, step by step. So first you have to go, when you have decided aim, okay, I want to go to Himalayas. Then step number one is what? First find a road map, then buy a ticket, right? Then what? Uh, uh, you go through training, all right? Like that you have to take steps. Your aim for life has to be converted to goals for life. Correct? And that should not be in your head. You should clearly write it down. Understand? Otherwise, what will happen? Your head will evaporate. You should write it down very clearly and put it on a paper on the wall. So that you see every day. Every day. Tomorrow you want to change it, change it. But what you are doing today or whatever your aim and goal is there, you should very clearly put it. Are you clear? Huh? To-do list. Right? You want to become very good in studies? You have to put. Okay. So you have to convert into action. First is aim, goal, then action. A for action also. Right? Sitting idle will not help. You have to act on the goal. Correct? Every day you have to do little bit, little bit, little bit to become successful. Are you clear now? Clear to everybody? Karthik, are you clear? Not clear. What are not clear? You told him? Oh, you explained to him. <laughs> Independent energy is clear. I don't need to help you. Uh. <laughs> Okay, all clear, everybody clear now? Now some come to second step. I is imagination. What is imagination? So, you have to imagine how you are achieving your goal very clearly. Alright? You have to, because your mind works on imagination. You have to clearly imagine what you want to achieve in life as if it's happening now so for example one day i'll become great dancer that's a goal let's say so now you have to sit and imagine i'm dancing very well people are appreciating okay i'm so happy a lot of money is coming so that as if it's happening now you have to imagine right it's called imagination. I is for intention and I is for imagination. Why it's intention? First you should clearly know what you want. Then you have to imagine it's as if it's happening every day. Every day. When? Just before you go to sleep. Huh? You have to imagine just before you go to sleep. Why you have before going to sleep? While going to sleep, the mind becomes very, very silent. And in deep sleep, your mind will process it and make it happen, really. You are, you are actually changing your mind to become successful in what you want. That's called imagination. Whatever you imagine will become true. You understand? So, what you should do? Just before going to sleep, you have to imagine fully. For example, tomorrow exam is there. So, I am going to exam, I am very calm, very peaceful, I am writing the exam very well, I am getting good mark, people are coming and congratulate me, my father, mother, my parents, my friends, everybody is congratulating me, that you have to imagine very clearly as if it is happening now, okay, then what will happen, your mind will make it happen, you are telling your mind, so you have to tell your, best time to tell your mind is just before you go to sleep, are you clear, is clear to everybody? Clear to Aditya? 
so you want to become i want to become very good football i want is a intention desire intention is i want to become good football player but how good football player you have to imagine i am play, playing like a pele you have to imagine very very clearly as if it is happening now when you have to do that just before going to sleep are you clear are you clear now why is because you are going to sleep the mind is becoming silent so then mind will learn it in the sleep are you clear everybody a for aim goal imagination m for memory so do you know how to remember many things you know the techniques for remembering many things do you know huh example there are more than 40 different techniques for memory okay how you can you can develop a super 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 memory very super memory so you can any school teaching and all you can remember super okay there are techniques for that so now today i don't have time to teach the techniques right but i am going to I, i'll give you this there are techniques here you can learn many techniques okay so there are techniques here you can learn one by one it's simple so then you start you can remember anything like this right so this i'll leave it to you you have to you can take a xerox copy with the from reka right i don't have time today so you can remember remember lot of things without difficulty right people will appreciate oh how much you know everything tuck 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 you can remember there are memory techniques okay are you clear there are different techniques with each technique you can remember in different way many things right somebody wants an email i can send an email or somebody want to take a xerox you can take xerox and learn i don't have time to teach maybe sometime when i come i can teach okay any subject you can learn, memorize very easily remember easily do you have difficulty in remembering anything hmm what about you anything you can remember very easily by these techniques okay you can develop a super memory right are you clear ha ha ಅಲ್ಲ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅವರು ಅದನ್ನ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆದ್ರು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಆದ್ರು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಾಲ ಮಾಡಿ ಬಿಟ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಗೆಟ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೇ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಏಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ okay so that test you have to you go through then you know where your real abilities ability test ha ability test is there so that is a small test in the internet if you do it then you will know exactly which is your strength so then your passion is matching with that focus on that right so what is your strength physical right so you have to grow based on what your strength is you should not grow on what is weaknesses all right always we should grow on our strength if you grow on weakness we can't compete right hmm? you understand vinith so where i am strong there are different tests which is called eight intelligence tests so this is available in the internet okay it's gardner's test so do the test that you'll know where you are strong and actually the strong comes from the gifted it's like by child is born it's come then focus on that then you will become best 
if we focus on your weakness then you will not be able to become the best right understand so the gardener's test is there you can uh, children can do that ha huh. if it is uh, if it is temporary they will uh, drop it but if it's what is really matching their intelligence they'll be strong holding on but uh, parents also should help them by finding out what is their strength then focus on that become the best in what you are then you have alternative also you have always one number one and number two right you should have two options number one number two always we should have two options number one and number two number one is what i'm best in number two is what i'm next best in understood so we should focus and become best in what i am and number 2 we should keep as a backup right so that is called memory memory technique i am leaving it here if you want i can send a email to reka she can we can distribute it so learn memory techniques you can have a super memory anything you can just like that memory numbers dates okay history science new foreign language everything you can remember easily okay ಮಾಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಏನಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ಫುಲ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ವೆಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಹಾಫ್ ವೇ do it well even a small thing don't take a big thing take small thing and do it well don't leave it in the half way are you clear so then meditation right why meditation because we want to make mind silent are you clear so mind peaceful mind is required for us correct so that's why it's called meditation now i'll teach you very simple meditation to make the mind silent okay very simple meditation so these are four things which are required a i m meditation is memory and meditation very simple meditation okay what you do is you keep you keep your hand on the stomach and observe the observe the stomach moving up and down when the breath moves okay don't change the breath let the let the breath move up and down by itself then any thought comes again focus on the breath now what you are doing now you are telling the mind focus on the breath don't get distracted with thoughts so when you do that the mind will become deeply silent ಅಸತೋಮ 
Sadgamaya. Tamasoma. Jyotir Gamaya. Mrityorba. Amritam Gamaya. Om Shanti 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 Hi. Lokaha Samastaha. Sukino Bhavantu. Lokaha Samastaha. Sukino Bhavantu. Lokaha Samastaha. Sukino Bhavantu. Harihi Om. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. Harihi Om. Slowly open your eyes. So, we have to have aims in life very clearly. A for aim, short term, medium term, long term. I for imagination and I for what else? M for meditation, memory. Okay. Focus on that. You will be very successful in life. Any questions? Shall we close for the day? Bye.